What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright guys, real quick, I forgot to do this. Um, Effigy Clash is out. We all know the frustration of three teams, but I do want to cover the actual um, missions and the exchange tent, not like we normally do so you guys don't make mistake in terms of buying the wrong things. I think you guys know how this works already, but it's always good to go over because there's a lot of new players coming in. So I'll do what I usually do, cover beginning game, middle game, middle to end, and then end what you guys should be aiming for and what using your, your resources towards. Remember, the trial here, your goal is going to be to do at least the five rounds as, uh, as much as possible every single time. Pay the diamonds, it's worth it. You get yourself these like little tokens here called the loot tickets, and you get yourself some diamonds, so you're, you're kind of replenishing your diamonds that you spent anyways. Try to aim for a little higher than what I have. I'm, I'm rank 59 on my free-to-play right now. My server, I'm number two. The problem here is it's going to be difficult for a lot of people because if your guild is not active and if your effigy statue is not built up past level one, like you see ours is not, your damage is going to suffer quite a bit because this here, the Halidome P, affects the amount of damage, um, sorry, not Halidome P, Halidome um, E right here, affects the amount of damage you're going to be doing on the boss that's currently out now. So if you have a higher level, chances are you're going to be ranked higher. So don't fret. It's not like you're doing poorly as a player. It's because probably your guild isn't as active and your Halidome is not leveled up. So still collect the rewards though. It's very important you do so because the exchange tent is out. I want to show you guys what you want to go for. Okay, so remember the T2 tokens here are going to be available to you based on your progression in the game. If you have not progressed up to minimum 24, and again, it's a moving target every single event. It can be 24, 29. I don't know what this one is because I already have it. But if you're not up to a minimum 24, you're not going to have access to the T2s. So don't worry about that one. You're going to focus on something else. So let's go over everything that's available here and what you should be getting. So first off, in terms of brand new players, early game, your goal, goal is simply going to be this. If you don't have B-Zang, go for B-Zang. Early game, he's, gonna, he's, he's the only reason why you're going to advance in the game because of his interrupt. Early players should be going for this. And then the second thing you should be going for should be the five, five arcades here. Uh, and then lastly, you should be going for uh, this right here, the A-Ticket Invitation. Okay, those are your three main things. B-Zang would be the first choice I would go for, though, just to get him out of the way. That way you have him. You're not going to have to worry about without, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the actual interrupt issue in the game without having him. And it just covers you from beginning to end. So make sure B-Zang is your priority. Uh, middle game players, you're going to probably want to focus on, um, so middle game, let's say, is about, I don't know, 24-ish. You can still go with our arcade, arcade tokens because obviously with our arcade tokens you get dupes, you get food, and you get yourself the uh, origin stones and the strengthening stones as well as grade A tickets when you summon. So this is going to be still probably your best choice. But then up here, uh, depending if you're working on, on FS's finally with the fighting spirits, you may want to prioritize this right here as your, as your main goal. And then from there, you might want to go for the T2. So it's really up to you on this one, but those are the three main things. Now you can also push a little bit for the faith gems but in this case for five for 50 is a really really good price but i would save that closer to the end and i would probably clean out these uh these boost stone kits first this should be priority so that's what i'm going to do i'm at I'm 32 now uh so this is going to be considered mid to end this should be your priority guys nobody should be going for anything else but these boost stones and then for their t2 if you do require remember t2 is a lot easier to get than boost stones so you don't have to push for those as much but these, these blue stones are absolutely going to push your account to the limit. And then after that, you want to focus on Faith Gems. Now, the summoning tickets are still really good for you, obviously. But for the most part, at this point, you're transitioning to having already 15 to 16 Triple S units, like I have in my free-to-play account. Uh, and you're really going to want to focus on your actual fighting heart, right? So these Faith Gems are going to come into play next. So I would do the following. Um, one... Uh, two, three, and then four. Actually, I'll put this three and then put their arcade tickets four. And sorry, I apologize, guys. I, I completely forgot about this. Uh, for new players, actually, I take that back. B-Zang should be a priority, and then after B-Zang, it should be uh, the arcade stones. And then after that, it should be this right here, your resources. Your, this this EXP, even for middle game players, this should actually be probably a priority as well. So forgot about these. They usually don't have them um, all the time here, but they actually do have them here, which is the EXP um, cans here that you can buy for the six hours of, of fighter EXP. That should also be one of your priorities here. So let's start from scratch so it's easier to remember. So early players, B-Zang, Arcade Coins, EXP, and then at the end, focus on Breakstones. Don't do those for now, okay? So those are your big ones here. It's going to be 
uh, one, two, three. I'm gonna put this in the title. I'll put this in the description for you guys as well, and on the screen so you guys can see it. Uh, somebody recommended that. Shout out to Kwan for recommending that. It's a good idea. And then four. Okay, these right here. So I'll put those in 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 the uh, the title and as well, not the title, so the description and on the screen. Now for middle game players, like I mentioned, um, you want to go for red boost stones here, T2 tokens, arcade coins, and then faith gems, and then the grade A tickets. Okay, so those are really good ones. Now keep in mind the grade A tickets, if you look down here, you can also get yourself the new units as well too, right? So that's why it's such an important... Uh, piece now it is a lower percentage chance to get any of the master inferno units but there is still a chance so it's worth picking these up for sure um i mean you have the same chance realistically with the arcade tokens but this guarantees you an a at least right uh, and then end game players you're mainly going to be looking at uh red boost stones t2 tokens uh i mean grade a is not bad you could definitely go for those faith gems though that'll be your number three okay faith gems and then some of you may push for this fighter exp at six hours because it's so cheap but again i would recommend either getting that right away and getting it out of the way or waiting till the end and using your your remaining um tokens then so that's i think the setup here that's best going to serve your account if you go anything outside of that you're probably wasting your gems i wouldn't do that um because these tokens is for a lot of people are going to be hard to come by depending on how active your guild is if your guild is not active Chances are you're not going to get as many rewards as the ones who are active. And that's going to make you um, have to rethink your strategy here in terms of what you spend it on. So don't spend frivolously. Like, actually save your tokens and go for things you actually need. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else here. If we go back to the actual missions, uh, you can see here a lot of it is based on, like, the guild effigy reaching level 5, 10, 15, 20. You, again, non-active guild, you're not going to get this done, so don't bother. Make sure you do participate, though, in every single effigy battle that you can. Uh, it does last uh, overnight and then into the morning, bleeds into the morning, so you can get these done and claim yourself the better tickets and also a lot of diamonds. So make sure you're pushing every single day to get these out of the way, um, and that way you're better off um, getting them done. Also log in twice a day, get yourself these green little rewards, these crystals, and feed it to your Halodome so you guys can get the rewards for that as well too for the missions, right? And that should give you enough to get everything you need from that shop. All right, guys, Payne, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Again, I'll put everything I just explained on the actual description section and on the screen when I'm talking about it so you guys don't have to listen three or four times over and over again. All right, see you guys in the next one.